Alrighty, we are on our way. We're on our way to Nobu. Carla went to Nobu without me, and oh I kept saying gosh. to her, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go to Nobu without you. Yeah, but look at you now. But yeah, we're going to Nobu, and I'm excited. Like, like I said, this it's just sushi, but I, obviously it's gonna be good sushi, right? Mm -hmm. You've had it, so what would you give it out of a 10? I love it. I mean, it is like the freshest sushi. That's why it's so bougie and expensive uh -huh. because it is very, very, very fresh. Most Nobus are that I re I would recommend are by the ocean because so Malibu. that makes me think that they just went out and got it. I don't know if that's true. But yeah, we're going to the one in Newport, guys. Yes, we're going to the one in Newport, and I'm excited. I'm excited too. I'm hungry. As I want to get the little tacos and I'm gonna get a lychee martini because I'm bougie. Dirty martini, extra dry, extra olives. Don't know yet. One of those. This is the jalapeno sashimi. Oh no. Your chopstick skills are like. Not that great. Mm. How is it? So buttery. Chopstick masters. Okay, this is kind of hard to get with the jalapeno too. I know. It's good. What do you like it? You like it? Oh, good. It's good. This it's not. Like... Whoa. It's not something that I would normally get, but it's pretty good. All right, guys. Next up, we got some tacos and we got some shrimp. Tiny ass tacos. Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going crazy. So we got some lobster and some prawns, and then we got, what is this? Um, she looks like a drink. Carla already ate all that, but <laughs> we're gonna try the shrimp first, let's see. That's a good shrimp. Mmm. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. We got all this good sushi, are you full? You done? Carlos done, guys, but so far Nobu's been really good. I'll give it a nine out of 10. 10 out of 10 because I like sushi. Obviously you come here for the fish. So if you're sushi lovers or seafood lovers, you come here. Sushi's good. What are you doing here? How did you get? <laughs> Today is my birthday celebration. My birthday is not for three more days. Yeah. But we're celebrating. We're lit today. We're in San Diego. Shout out to everybody who lives in San Diego. If you live here, comment down below. We f with San Diego so far. Let me give you a little house tour or a little Airbnb tour. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are ready, leave a like. Let's get it. First up, this is like the entrance to the Airbnb. It's, it's a nice house. Like it, I think it has three rooms, just like three beds. Over here is the garage. He could show you. Yeah, we got the test scene here. There's actually. Oh no, man! Look at this. Look at this. There's a long board. I'm gonna see if I can get on it. Let's see. Please don't. Ooh. I'm a skateboarder. Woo! <laughs> Better. I think I did pretty good. Yeah, enough. All right guys, so when you walk in, we have a little bathroom situation in here. Nothing crazy, this is just for the guests. And yeah. Nothing crazy. You walk in here and we have obviously like the dining area and the kitchen area. We already have our little party favors over here, you know, like charcuterie. A little charcuterie. You gotta talk about your lint. Well, so, Lent, we're breaking up. We're obviously. breaking Lent today. It's been a month for me. A month and actually a month and a couple days for oh. me. Fitzy, this is three steps. Come up three steps. <sighs> I'll, I'll have to go through that. All right. My bad. I've been doing Lent and I gave up alcohol, so it's been a month and some change, right, Louis, for me? Yeah. For both of us. Well, you broke it. Oh. Oh, yeah, I did. I forgot. He broke Lent last week or something like that, but uh, this is my day that I'm going to break it, yeah. technically, for Cayman's birthday. So, kitchen area, very cute, very modern vibes. I like it because it's like a nice little, you know. Place where everybody can just sit and into. Enjoying. Yeah. And actually, in the daytime, it was really cute in the daytime because we have this really cute view of all these houses and the ocean view is over there. It's kind of cute, I like it. This is the living room area right here. We have a little table. Probably sit here and just, I don't know, <laughs> eat snacks and shit. Right here we got Nick. Special guest. You guys know Nick already. He you shot our intro him. a long time ago. He's <laughs> the <laughs> Check the fit, check the fit, fit check. Okay, okay. This right here is Tevin. See me? 
Look at the kicks. Man, come on now. Look at the kicks. Not the Jeez. union. Good union. But over here, we got a little like living room area. We got your friend on the screen. That's Koi, right? Mm -hmm. The speaker system is actually really good. It's a nice little setup. Down here, I know it's a little dark, but there's like a little place where you could just be on the computer. Uh, we covered this up because we didn't want anybody spying on us, you know? Right. Yeah. And then there's a little hand chair, you know, scoop your butt. <laughs> Dead. I'm not gonna lie, I took two shots and I'm low key already tipsy, but it's my birthday, so it's cool. Yeah. Over here is another little sitting area, guys. Uh, here's like another place. We'll go downstairs. Let's go. This is still the entrance. You come back down here, and these are all where all the rooms are at. So. We're gonna show you guys our room first. So this is our room. Obviously there's stuff in here already, but it's a nice little bed and it's actually really comfortable. I like it. And the ceilings are very low. Look at this closet. Look how low this is. Okay, this is me. Mind you, I'm 5'3". If I get too faded, I don't know if I probably look sweaty because I'm just hot. But if I get too faded and I just like go like this, I'm literally like fucked. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, let's show them. Dead. Who can fit here? I mean, I fit in here fine. I mean, I'm like 6'6", six, six, so this is like a mm, not right. ideal, but you get the point. That's our room. This is the bathroom. It's a nice little bathroom, you know? At least you fit in here. Yeah, I fit in here. It's a nice shower. Look at this bed. We did a bath. Are they bathroom? Yeah. Oh, right there. Right there, bath. Ooh. Nice little bath, shower. I'm going to take a shower in a bit because I start getting ready. So when you walk in here, this is actually, I don't want to get in here too much, but this is actually Zay's bedroom. So this is Louis's room. He obviously already has a mess in here. So don't mind his stuff. This is his room. It's like bigger actually than the other one, but he got first dips because he got here first. I think too crazy. It has a really nice view actually. So We'll show him in the morning. Yeah, we'll show him in the morning. And yeah, that's pretty much it. My birthday's on the 28th. That's my golden 28th birthday. 28th on the 28th. It's your golden birthday when it's like the same number as the, the month of the day. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? 28 on the 28th. So I'm super excited. I'm two years from 30, which is crazy. As a matter of fact, don't even listen to what I just said. I'm not 28. I'm actually 21. Yeah. 21 today. Shout out to my nigga KB. He's turning... A certain don't age. say my age. I wasn't gonna say the age. Don't say my age. I, look, I was gonna say he's turning a certain age. Hey, he's been keeping it real ever since I met the nigga. Happy birthday to my nigga KB. And he's gonna get drunk tonight. Oh yeah, that's a fact. Easily. Happy birthday to my nigga KB. You know, you know you my nigga, bro. You feel me, Carla? You gotta go one for real. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and KB finna be drunk as. Yeah. They trying to get me up, bro. What the? Fuck? Hey, happy birthday to a real one, man. KB, young as. <laughs> Turning a young ass age, man. Facts. Yeah, happy birthday, bro. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Yo. Happy birthday to my dog, KB. It's about to be lit. It's a movie tonight, and I'm going to capture everything. You know, we're going to have all the photos. Is he going to be lit, bit back, and stupid? Happy birthday, bro. Turn up. Yo, KB, my guy. You know what I'm saying? This is a great dude. Happy birthday, man. Hey, wish you the best of luck. For real, though, this is a good dude, man. Wish the best of luck. Grind, keep grinding. You're an inspiration to all of us, you know, out there making content and stuff like that, you know, so keep up to work and we gonna keep grinding shoot. This is my first time meeting KB, cool as f but um we <laughs> And they put me onto the beatbox. We off, we off the beatboxes, but uh happy birthday to KB. We finna turn up finna San drunk. Diego, drunk as f let's just have a good time man. Shout out to KB See him twirl, then he drop. Got I caught the limo just to cut the top. They be like, geez, why you always hot? 2019, we shooting videos on yachts. They be on the bike, keep me doing top of clocks. And I'm clipping on you niggas like a dreadlock. And my team winning, and we ain't gonna stop. Bad little cheese, and she suck on my cock. Nigga won't smoke with me. We blow him like a tree. You niggas can't compete with the end of the Quick to call you brother And they be the same niggas be under 
undercover. I keep a lethal weapon like my name, Danny Glover. While you niggas always hate, always talk shit, never say it to your face. Two bad bitches and they want a little taste. They sent me in the jungle with gorillas in their ears. Niggas wanna ride my way, I haven't dropped a tape. You don't like my music, but you can't escape. Alright guys, it's the day after. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty f***ing tired. We had so much fun last night. I was trying to vlog more. I think I got some stuff on my phone, but I'm really not sure. It ain't even really my birthday, but it definitely felt... It felt like it was for sure. San Diego is lit. San Diego might damn near... It might be more lit than LA, honestly. I think people show way more love out here than anywhere else, so... If you live in San Diego, shout out to y'all whoever came. I had a really good time. We're not gonna say my age no more on here, but... <laughs> we got a little stuff to clean up. It's not too bad, like... We got like an hour to check out the Airbnb. We're gonna just clean this up real quick. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed my day. We're about to go home. <sighs> I'm tired. It's the morning after, how you feeling? I'm straight. I'm not, I'm good hungover. This is a whole cement right here. Y'all gotta worry I'll about him. I'm sleep on this couch right here. Hey, this man KB told me, I'm gonna come back with a blanket. He didn't come back with a blanket. He never <laughs> he, came he back. He was sleeping with the whole like pillow this. on top of his ass. Like this, that's cool. This shit look comfy though. You gotta, there's a cover right here. What is that? I don't know, that's a, that's a shirt. Hey, if y'all looking for a nice wholesome man, right here, tap hit up Tevin right now. What's your Instagram right now? Tap in with two N's, James. He did. Damn bad. <laughs> we all damn bad. Damn bad. Shot clock. Nigga, fuck, especially not that. Fuck no. He's bugging. Nah, I'm out of there. We was lit. <laughs> she, was, she was lit, for sure. It was a vibe. That's all y'all need to know. It was a movie. That shit was lit. All right, so I'm literally editing this video. Like, as you guys can see right now, I'm editing this video and we like, we just, we need to take a moment. I want to show some appreciation for Carla's booty. Like it's definitely, it's really, it's looking real good. Like the Pilates are working. They're really working. I just wanted to hop in here and say that because she works really hard. She goes to her workouts all the time and they're paying off. So shout out to you. I love you. And you getting thick. Today is officially KB's birthday. And as you can see, I just woke up. I'm a little groggy. Yeah, he's downstairs. Yeah, we're gonna see what he's doing. Come on, Janelle. Let's go say hello and happy birthday to daddy. <laughs> what are you guys doing? She's been enjoying her son. <gasps> Can't even see her. Are you out here enjoying your <laughs> birthday morning with your daddy? She's hilarious. She's been like this for hella long. Happy birthday. It's officially almost closer to 30. You're one year behind, so we can start. Yeah. Binti, you want to be sunbathing in the sun? So today is my official birthday. I turned 28. Damn, that sounds old. That means it's my golden birthday, which is a special thing. Yours already passed a long time ago. Yeah. Because you'd have been 18 on the 18th. Yeah, I don't even know that one. It only goes to 31 too, so. But today is my golden birthday. I'm super excited. I started making stuff on the internet when I was 18, actually. So it's kind of exciting. My mom and my sister sent me this little cake. I actually <laughs> just lit up the candles and stuff on FaceTime and they sent me happy birthday. So I was super happy. Carla did too. Mm -hmm. and this is like a strawberry shortcake, like. Not sure what to call it, but I, I love like light airy cakes like mm -hmm. this. Ooh, I want to taste that. We got some croissants. This place is called Paris Baguette, so it's giving like Paris vibes. It kind of makes me want to wish I was in Paris today. <laughs> Thank you guys. Everybody's gonna be saying happy birthday in the comments. I appreciate everybody. I'm 28. We're not gonna say my age on here no more, like at all. When we say happy birthday, you just don't say your age. We're gonna take off a couple years. I'm 25. In the comments, well, we asked you guys in the comments what you want to see from us. You said just more regular, everyday, like stuff. So today, we actually did a couple things this morning. I picked up some shoes and we went and got kava. And we did some chores around the house, and today we are gonna. Take down a task, and that is Cayman's closet because he's a hoarder. First of all, we're gonna show you the closet. I'm not a hoarder. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, I don't know. If, did you show them that we have blinds and stuff? Oh, I know, I did. 
It looks really, it looks like you're in heaven right now or something because well, it's like blooming. So, so the one thing that we are going to do in this room is add a big, big, big white carpet. And it's like this one, it's like a particular material. I'm going to add like maybe like a, some type of light fixture right here. Like maybe like a, a lantern or something. The theme for this is heaven, cloud vibes. All I wanted for a room was to literally be all in true colors and just like feel like really like serene and just like really peaceful yeah um because the rest of our house i mean it's pretty serene but i think it has more like character and stuff but like i feel like when i go to sleep or can we go to sleep like we just like to be at peace and that's kind of like what we went for so we need a carpet and a light fixture and i'm pretty much that's pretty much it oh and maybe something up here yeah we need to put something here because it's so empty like yeah. something here would be really nice yeah i just don't know what exactly either i'm gonna paint it myself or something i can like Make. Say hi, Chanelli. Say yeah, hi, subscribers. This is my favorite chair because it has my favorite pillow in the world. Yeah, she loves that pillow. She loves it. All right, guys. So we're gonna take you. Sure. Oh, we also put this mirror in here. It lights up. Yeah, I showed you guys that like a year ago. But we're gonna go over to the closet where we're kind of tackling. This is my closet. Yeah. This is also the first time I've even had a real good closet. But let's just take a minute. Let's see. So it's not that bad. I mean, it was a lot worse. I will say that. Yeah. It's gotten a lot better. So as you guys can see, I have like my pants kind of organized. Yeah. The shorts are going to go here. Yep. We're going to organize all of it. This is pretty much organized. This, this little section we have to go through. We got to go through this. And this over here is Carlos, by the yeah. way. She this just took my, over my shit. This is all my sweaters, my everyday sweaters. So that's where I keep it. Yeah. And we need to figure out what to do with this too. Because I don't like how it looks. Yeah. But like, we'll figure that out. But this is like the overflow of shoes that I have from the room. Mm -hmm. These are like graphic tees. I literally, it feels like a store in here because I have so many. But like even this one, this one's cool. It's like but a Kanye like one, the Kobe more one. It is. I feel like the more you're more like know where everything's at, and you'll be like more willing to like pick out an outfit. Yeah, it's like way better than it used to be too. So like when I come in here, it's actually still pretty easy. But we're gonna get it like really well better than it is right now. So this is the before. It really isn't that bad. And by the way, this is the ground. I didn't show you the ground. This is the before. This is the ground. And even down here. Fancy, what the hell? We got like just stuff everywhere. Like we got to figure it out. But this is the before. It's a little messy. And then we will show you guys the after, at least the progress. We might not do everything today, but we're going to try to tackle like section by section. So we'll see you guys in a sec. We're not done with Kami's closet yet. We took a little break and then we came downstairs and we're like, oh, we might as well just open all our boxes that we down have have down here so i'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that i got this is so far our kitchen and we've been like doing little things to it like changing up these knobs before they were like this silver chrome very modern and i feel like this definitely added like some character but i've been like antique shopping and yes before people tell me oh you should sage it oh it's blah 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 i sage all the stuff that i get so i will put it in like a little pile i will sage it and then i will put it everywhere else but i got these like wooden spoons these are actually brand new but i really like them because i'm gonna put like a little thing where i'm gonna put all my wooden spoons but i've been trying to find like really unique ones and look how cool they are they like little twist ones and then my brother did gift me some that i'm gonna actually add to it these right here i have like little elephants right here they're so cute they have little elephants on it but these might be too small but I feel like together, I think they'll be fine. And then I got this little vase. It's actually really heavy. But I was just going to put like a little plant, maybe like for the bathroom or my room, something like that. It's just like really small. And then I got this pitcher. And it's actually really nice and sturdy. But since we are going to have like a little patio outside, I thought it was perfect to like have like maybe put some like mint and lemons and just put like water in here and just have it. I'm still in search of the matching cups that go with the set. I really, really like it. So these these are actually like made in Japan and they're like antiques, but look how cool the, I don't know if you guys can tell the detail, but it's little, literally like little people and they're like going to the temple. It's so, so cool. It has like such cool, interesting little things on it. But I like antiquing because I kind of find like really cool and different things. I do obviously buy most of the stuff that are modern and try to combine antique and modern at the same time and make it like very homey at the same time. So, oh, and we got our knife set. 
It is so cute. I was so excited to get it because I've been wanting this knife set for a while. I had like one that was all white from Target and I still loved it and I still kept all the knives. So those are like our everyday knives. These are literally our everyday knives. Kamen cooks a lot. So I told him he can use these only on special occasions because these are really good knives. So um, these are only for like what they're, we're- They're mainly for decoration more. They're mainly for decoration. But they're still good knives. They can be used. They can be used. Like they're actually really good you knives. You just don't want to mess them up. You just don't. I really like it because it matches the rest of our Meg stuff. So this was like our toaster. That was like the first Meg thing that we got for. This was actually in the old house. I just I was like, okay, I'm just gonna really like splurge on our appliances and that was the first thing i got and then the second thing that i got for this house in particular was a coffee machine and this actually is an espresso and a cappuccino um you can make like an espresso I like whatever you want and a cappuccino it has like the little set for it it's so cool i had to learn how to use it because i had no clue this is like the kind of like the real barista type of machine i wasn't used to because before i had an espresso machine and that was really cool but i really wanted this and i'm so happy because i finally got it and then this is just like stuff that my mom has gotten us for christmas which is our little set for hermes and the rest of our hermes plating and stuff is actually up in our pantry you just can't see it right now but it's all the way up there and yeah and then i got my little egg it's supposed to be silverware and it's actually so cute. I can't wait to put it, like put that silverware in it. It's so cute. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys haven't seen the rest of our house, we're probably gonna do a full house tour once it's actually done. But there's just like little things we've been doing and Cayman has been, he's just kind of been along for the ride, huh babe? I'll ask him like, oh, so should we do this or this? And he'll be like, I'll leave it up to you. I agree with whatever you think is better. Yeah guys, I kind of just let Carla do, you know, whatever she wants. Cause obviously she has good, good taste in ice. Items and stuff. We'll give you a full house tour because or a full furnished house tour because there's a lot more stuff that we got. Yeah. But I don't want to show it all right now. We just want to show you a quick little update. So we showed you guys the before. Now this is the after. Now it's not perfect, but we made a lot of good progress. So uh, let's go. As you can see, sweats are still kind of how they were, but they look nice. You know, I got a lot of sweats. Right here we have the nice organized pants. Down here we have the shorts. And remember, the floor was all full of just. Sh everywhere it's finally empty um down here we have like all my sweaters all the shirts hoodies over here is like jackets graphic tees more like dressed up type shirts varsity jackets jerseys it's like black tees it's kind of like overflow from here as you can see it's a lot better and shout out to carla because we helped and then the bottom of the like down here we're gonna still do a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. but it's still a little messy but we're still gonna do a bunch of stuff that's like the next yeah, order. <laughs> yeah. Look how tiny my baby is compared to all this. I want to be a part of the video. She said I want to be a part of the oh video. She said I want to be a part of the video, Dad. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And I'm happy so we can finally take a shower and just... Fine. We'll do the rest another day. But that was a good... Now that it's like clear. Start. Yeah. It's kind of color coordinated and like I can figure out my outfits a lot better, which will help us be more productive anyway. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah.